Hello, Scorpio. I'm, welcome to your Venus retrograde reading for October to November 1st. This is current year. Hooray. This is going to be a different reading with different cards. This is my Aleister Crowley Tauth deck. I used them for you. In the last one, when I had to redo the other reading for you, because, well, yeah, that pretty much answered it, because, like, I got too comfortable, and then, like, I fucked it all up. Right? Right. Also, you guys might feel like you missed an opportunity to get some luxury, and now everything's just coming against you, or people are coming against you, right? Um, just let you guys know I'm still doing my readings. So if you guys want a reading, just hit me up in my email. It's in the description below. And we'll go from there. Right, right. Also, I'm pregnant. So, yay. I'm going to have a little Gemini, I think. My friend Courtney thinks that it's going to be on her birthday. It's going to be a little boy. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm kind of hoping for a girl. But if I don't have a girl, I'll be happy with a little boy. He can live with me forever. <laughs> Better make me grandkids. Better be with a lady I can get along with. Because if not, she can just leave. <laughs> not really. I wouldn't be that mean. Well, maybe. Ah, uh, here is an earth sign. A king of this provider and someone kind of... I was not... People coming against you as much as someone maybe losing their nerve as a provider? Survivor so kind of get. You know, that stability that you establish is kind of wavering, I guess. Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign who's um not exactly settled. And there's a bit of a burden going on there, right? Mind you, that Prince or King of Discs is um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus types, in case you're wondering. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. All right. No enemies. Let us begin. So. We got completion, maybe even the home. Full circle, right? Everything's balanced. On this side, we got you, Scorpio. Upside down. I don't really want you to change or transform or let old things leave you. And over here, we have movement, swiftness. Going about to spring forth with action. We change with that passion, that fire, right? Sagittarian card. On this side, we got a lack of truce, I feel like. Not coming together to communicate what's on your mind or what you want to say. Not taking the time to think about things over or trying to mediate over them. On this side, we got someone weighing their options out. With change, the two of pentacles. On this side, we have a bunch of disappointments someone really can't get over. Five of cups, like, the emotions are still there. Like, someone doesn't want to think things over because they're still really disappointed over stuff. Or they're really upset over something, or they just can't get over some sort of regret. Right? And on this side, we have someone establishing stuff for the home, the wealth, the confidence for that change, right? Like, establishing money, getting wealth, um, everything. Strange how this one is all about changing and this one's saying, no, I don't want to change. And it's just like, okay, these are kind of contradictory. All right. On this side, we have a Prince of Sword, uh, yeah, Prince of Wands or a King of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm just getting all confused today. Someone not um moving. Someone not charging the head. Someone staying stagnant, staying still, not wanting to do anything, right? Could be a Leo, since that lion's there. Or they could be charging in like a lion, right? And on this side, Sagittarius's card, art or temperance. Communication, coming together, 
combining a concoction that works for both sides, finding balance as compromising of beliefs and like understandings come to be almost in a religious aspect huh okay I got gotcha. you either way there's completion somewhere yeah someone has something to gain of a victory in all this too like they have something to gain they can come out victorious between these two, right? Okay. Down here. There is no real... On this side, like, it seems like the completion where, like, someone doesn't want to change their ways, they don't immediate on it because they've already come to a decision, and on this side, if they change to move there is a new offer coming in and on this side with all these disappointments springing up it's because of some failure and on this side with all this wealth and stuff it's because someone doesn't come to a decision and on this side where someone isn't moving or charging or doing anything it's because they don't want to work anything out where on this side someone just relives heartbreak all over again in their head Or maybe that's the lacking of the sorrow. Maybe that's the healing of the sorrow. Maybe it just still hurts and they need to get that out. You know? Maybe they finally verbalize that sadness. Someone is going to be able to join the frequency of other people. They'll be able to come together with the moon, I think. The emotions, the vibrations, like actually getting to um, the inner part, seeing like two counterparts come together for some mysterious, weird crab thing to hold up almost the glow of the sun to like channel almost that spiritual nature, I guess, between two beings. Not necessarily romantic, but that's kind of what I'm getting from the card. Like, I don't entirely understand it. It can also be like some manipulation or someone pulling puppet strings, but I feel like that's not the case. It's more like two beings coming together in order to communicate, almost. And trying to set up some foundation with the Four of Pentacles, trying to come to some. Solution to be feeling secure and fortified all over again, maybe. Then we have... There was a disunion, or there will be a disunion, with the Lover's Reverse, possibly with a Gemini. My just Pisces card, my bad. Then we have happiness over here the sun look at all that joy that's completely different than the way i thought they were looking upside down that's completely different like the sun is here there's happiness there's joy and there's still a knight of wands aries leo sagittarius who is unwilling to move and now here is a Princess, a page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, coming in to do some snooping, some spy work, right? Possibly for a queen of wands. It's like, what? It, it like, I feel like on this side, like, someone's spying because someone doesn't want to change who they are. Like, they're not willing to change who they are for some reason. Like, all the fire is over on this side. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, all this is kind of calm and nonchalant, and this is all, like, so dramatic. Like, it's like nobody wants to budge. But everyone's snooping. Did someone just flip out on me? I thought it did. Yeah, it did. Um... <clears throat> 
Let that shit the fuck go. <laughs> Just go. Just go at this point. Is there, like, indolence? Like, what? I, okay, the dictionary that I looked up with Google, right? Said laziness, uh, inactivity, which is weird over the Queen of Wands. Like, is, is she, like, is she being passionate about not doing anything? I wonder. Hmm. And someone's trying to sneak away with the seven of swords and they might be successful so that was your scorpio i will see you later bye bye